Hey Tran, I got your message. Uh, you responded to my video on um, become an information system security engineer where I broke down uh, the benefits of it, becoming a system security engineer. And you said, um, thank you for your video. I'm very interested in the security career field. However, um, I don't know how and where I should start to get my foot in the door. And you said, um, I'm almost done with my BS in computer science. Congratulations, that's a great degree. Um, so, can you talk more in detail um, about what things, what classes I need uh, to have a basic, to know the basics about secure, system security? Oh, okay, this is easy. Um, so, if you're in computer science, man, that's that's a tough course. I mean, I know that's a lot of like programming and stuff, so you're on the right track. Programming makes good money. Um, but security is in such high demand. I mean, just to give you an example, um, right now, I'm, I'm overworked, man. I got so much stuff to do at the current job I'm at. I work for a government agency from home, by the way. And um, I got another job interview, like, tomorrow, uh, out doing the same stuff. There's, just, there's a demand, so we actually need computer scientists, like, in this career field bad. We can't keep... You can't keep people in the same job, like, because there's so many opportunities. Like, as soon as you get hired, you've got two or three other opportunities lined up. So, this is a great career field, you know, and I've been doing this for like 20 years now. So, anyway, um, to answer your question, um, to get into the basics and to help you to get your foot in the door, I would highly recommend a Security Plus. Um, the Security Plus uh, is a is an IT security um, certification from a company called CompTIA. They also do something called the A+, which breaks down hardware, and then they have something called the N+, uh, network secure, uh, it's, just does networking, basic networking stuff. I don't recommend that one. Um, probably just go straight to a CCENT. But uh, their, their A plus is really good for people starting off in, in just hardware, software, they don't know anything. It's pretty good. Uh, but Security Plus is definitely their best certification, in my personal opinion. And this has come from somebody who has the A plus had it's expired now, but uh, did the N plus, and I taught the Security Plus class uh, for a few few years back. Um, anyway, I would highly recommend Security Plus. You don't know what it is? I made another video about it um, that breaks down some of the issues with it. I mean, not issues, but some of the benefits of it. It's a highly sought after certification. It's one of the top security certifications. It's not as far as it, um, it's kind of a basic certification. It's not like a high level certification like your CISSP is a kind of a high level security certification. And then there's stuff above that even. But entry level to get your foot in the door is something that employers and government agencies are looking for security plus you put that on your resume along with your bachelor's degree in computer science man you're set especially if you live in the virginia area they're always looking for people out on the east coast like the east coast virginia washington dc new york penn uh that that whole area like has probably the most demand for for uh good starting positions um always looking for certifications government positions then you've got another area that looks for computer jobs a lot is um, security jobs is San Diego. Um, what other places? Parts of Northern California like Monterey. I, I see some stuff pop up on that in San Fran uh, area. Colorado where I currently live. There's like 20 bases here. Now on the real there's like six bases here like in one area and they're always looking for people. Anyway, Security Plus, look it up, check out the the common body of knowledge. Once you get through that certification, you get that certification, you'll have a very solid understanding of what goes into computer security. It's a great way to get your foot in the door. That's how I got my foot in the door as far as the t as far as the technical side of security and once I had that that baseline of knowledge, like uh, you, I, I was able to build off of that, build on top of each one of that. Because what you'll find is when you take that certification, it breaks down the fields very well. Like it talks about a little bit about um, cryptography, a little bit about 
firewalls a little bit just to give you an idea of what is the the basics of each one of those parts of security and then from there you can go deeper down the rabbit hole on each one of those items like you could go into cryptography or you could go into firewalls real heavily and that's what you find nowadays like um, security professionals usually they they get advancement by by going deep in one area like myself I do compliance computer system security compliance and then there's another area I'm deep in which is like um, incident uh, manage um, incident handling that's that's when like um, a computer uh, six a hackers trying to get into a network and then we see like we're looking at the logs and then we can we can do a report on on where they're coming from and things like that so we like re file a report of an incident that goes to the rest of the agency and alerts everybody hey here's what's going on that's one that's a whole nother aspect of security my, my specialty is compliance that's for sure uh, and that's like documentation doing security policies um, being plan of action and, and, and milestones for stuff like that uh, but there's other areas there's like firewall administrators who just do nothing but that and there's um, there's all kinds of different branches but the foot in the door is definitely security plus so I highly recommend it and I hope this helped you out man um, thanks for watching my video uh, thanks for liking it and um, uh, talk to you soon hey Tran I forgot to mention uh, your specific question was about college courses and the reason I didn't talk about college courses is because when you go out into the when you go out to get your job, they're not really gonna break down each one individual college class you did. They're just gonna want to know if you have a degree, right? And then but what a certification does is it says, look, I have a specialty in just this thing. So if you get a Cisco certification for CCNA, for example, which tell which will tell them immediately, I know how to fix a router. I know how to back up a router. I know how to um, do switches and I know how to do it specifically in this proprietary product but some of the if, if you still want to know about the actual classes um, let me see I'm looking through some courses that were similar to the ones that I had available to me I, I took uh, I was a uh, went to a bachelor's degree in information technology and um, some of the courses I took, I took a specialty in networking, but there were th there were classes like, and I'm reading through them right now, cryptography and computer security. That's okay. Network security technology tells you about networks and the difference between routers and switches and stuff like that. Large networks, small networks. Um, other stuff that I took or that I that was available were like ethics issues in computing which you wouldn't think was very important but actually touches on a lot of stuff that I personally do now like laws and how the law, those laws develop from government agencies things like that um, fundamentals of computer security usually they they kind of it's like a prerequisite to the other more advanced courses but again like I if I was you I would continue on with what you're doing like if you're doing um, programming that's cool databases that's cool whatever and then I would get a certification on the side I'm telling you that's so powerful um, people in the know who are in this industry um, who have a degree already they'll tell you that it'll give you a leg up a lot of times on some of the other people you'll be competing against once you get out of college uh, it's <laughs> I'm telling you, this is some good information I'm giving you. Get that security plus, and if you can, go for something even higher. Go, it's called the CISSP. Get that, but start off with the security plus if you don't feel comfortable with certifications. All right, see you.